Devil in the Dark, written by Gene Kuhn, is a true classic. This episode is an examination of bigotry, intolerance, and ignorance. When faced with the unknown, mankind's initial stance has always been to regard it as the enemy and to obliterate it. But sometimes, an enemy is not what it appears to be. In an early episode, The Man Trap, Kirk's first response was to destroy that story's villain, Salt Vampire. Here, in The Devil in the Dark, it becomes very important to Kirk to establish communication with the Horta. Even Kirk has his consciousness raised during his travels through space. When I first saw the mound of rubber that eventually became the Horta, I must admit, I was not impressed. But when writer Gene Kuhn caught a glimpse of the rubbery mass, the blob captured his imagination, resulting in this episode, The Devil in the Dark. Gene Kuhn was indeed one of Star Trek's unsung heroes. He was instrumental in taking a good science fiction story and making it a great one. He earned the moniker fastest typewriter in the West, yet his work was never slipshod. Scripts were taut and filled with interesting plot devices. This episode is a genuine example of Gene Kuhn's extraordinary talent. as we know it, is universally based on some combination of carbon compounds. But what if life exists based on another element? For instance, silicon. Most of the philosophies that we hear about, the way we treat fellow man, the way we treat people in the galaxy, uh, the, 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 the mixed racial uh, feelings with, uh, aboard the Enterprise and throughout the, the galaxy, most of that came from Gene Kuhn and the writers. I mean, that's where it, it uh, came from. We are dealing with a silicon creature of the deep rocks, capable of moving through solid rock as easily as we move through the air. That would account for the tunnels. Correct. Certain writers brought certain strengths. Um, you must remember the constant in the series is the actor and the character. Writers come and go, directors come and go, even producers come and go. But then along came a man named Gene Kuhn, who, who stepped in to produce the series. Mr. Strife, we seem to have been given a choice. Death by asphyxiation or death by radiation poisoning. If you came to the lot at 10 or 11 o'clock at night, several hours after the, we and the crew had gone, you'd find Gene still there pounding away at a clackety-clack typewriter. And, uh, and the next day, you'd have some interesting things to play. If so, if it is the only survivor of a dead race, to kill it would be a crime against science. I think the original series started with a basic idea of we're now on this planet, we're now going elsewhere, and we're gonna see what's over the next hill, over the next planet, whatever. Uh, and, and I think audiences went with us. It also was a series where we, we came up with ideas that were not the usual science fiction ideas that had been done prior to the original Star Trek. It was a series that dealt with episodes where non-human heroes and non-human characters were treated as human beings. What do we do, just talk it over? We just sit here, it's your move. At first, uh, before we hired a man called Gene Kuhn, who came in during the first year to produce the series. Before that, we did have uh, a, f a few episodes where when we landed on a planet and if Captain Kirk didn't like the people, he'd shoot them, right? The creature must die. I see no alternative myself, Captain. We decided that was wrong. 
we decided, especially with Kuhn, Kuhn came in and said, hold it. Why do we do that? Why don't, we, why don't we go in and find out what they want, why they're there, they have the right to be there, maybe we don't. Maybe there is a particular character who is a rock, a rock who is protecting her children. Maybe they have the right to be there. This creature here is the mother of her race. And so we deal with, with, with characters on that basis. And I really think that that was uh, an, an, an amazing approach to television back then, you know, the mid-60s. Uh, and I think audiences found it. For more than 30 years, I've been asked, uh, what's your favorite episode? And my answer is, The Devil in the Dark. Although the story is incredibly exciting and exemplifies the best characteristics that Star Trek had to offer, those are not the reasons why it's my favorite. On the second day of shooting uh, uh, this episode, I received a phone call that my father had died. So we were going to shut down production at that point, but as my flight to Miami wasn't leaving until the evening, I suggested we continue to shoot our scenes. I wanted to be surrounded by my other family, the Star Trek cast and crew. They were indeed my support system during a very difficult time.